Combining digital decorations into a singular display is one of the many ways you can really level up your game. In a previous tutorial, we mapped some singing pumpkin faces to a physical location within Resolve's Fusion page. Today, we will add another decoration into the background of that display by layering video effects together. Let's get started. Here we are on the edit page with our mapped pumpkins project. For this tutorial, let's add an eerie eyes video to the background so it displays against the back wall. You might think we could simply bring the first video and adjustment clip up, and then add the background video onto track 1. However, you can see here that it is not visible. This is because our jack-o-lantern video on track 2 is completely covering the new video on track 1, and the changes we previously made were to an adjustment clip which can only see the pumpkin face video. There are ways around this if we avoid the adjustment clip, but let's keep using it so we can continue to apply this effect to other jack-o-lantern videos and retain the eerie eyes background. Open the adjustment clip in Fusion by right-clicking on it and selecting Open in Fusion page. When mapping pumpkin faces in the previous tutorial, our node layout was structured from left to right. This means anything closest to the media out node is layered on top of any other nodes before it. While we could add the eerie eyes video closer to the left side of the line to make it a background, I prefer to use an approach that I like to call the Fusion Tree. Begin building the tree by disconnecting everything from the media out node. Bring down a background node, which will act as our tree roots. Then connect it to the media out node. We now have a tree trunk, which everything will ultimately get connected to. For now we will leave the background node as plain black. In future tutorials, we will explore when we would want to make this a transparent background. With the background node selected, add a merge node from the toolbar. Let's move these around to give us more room. Then reconnect our original nodes to the merge. Now we have a tree, with a complete trunk and one tree limb connected to it. Any nodes connected to the limb, are branches. Any branches that are closest to the trunk, will be more visible than the branches furthest from it. Similarly, any limbs that are closest to the top, will be more visible than a limb underneath it. To illustrate this, let's create a new tree limb. Select the root background node and add a new merge. Create a new tree limb by adding a background node and then connect it to the merge. Because this limb is underneath the other, it will appear as a background. Bring down your background video. Add a merge and then connect your video to it. If your background is invisible, there are two things to check on. First, look for any nodes that might be layered on top of it and thereby obstructing it from the view. Here, the background node for the first limb is black and the alpha is set to 1. Let's bring that down to 0, which will create an alpha background. If it's still not visible, make sure to move forward in the timeline a bit. Sometimes the decoration is not visible until several seconds into the video, so be sure you're on a frame where something should be showing in the viewer. The eyes are now visible but their placement could be better. Add a transform node to the branch. Then move and adjust as needed. Let's add another set of eyes to the left hand side. Add a new merge to the limb to start a new set of branches. Copy the previous media and transform nodes with the Ctrl plus C keyboard shortcut, then paste them with the Ctrl plus V shortcut. Make any adjustments as needed to add additional eyes without cutting something halfway off. Let's add one more set of eyes to cover that middle section a bit better. To add a little variability to the background, select any of the media nodes attached to this branch. Open the inspector and locate the whole first frame property. Enter the number of frames you would like this video to wait before it begins to play. This will appear to add some randomness to the background. This looks good, but let's make a slight adjustment in the positioning. Add a transform node to the limb. This will allow us to collectively move all of the branches behind the transform node. For this, let's just make a minor adjustment in the positioning. Since we intend to use this adjustment clip to apply these effects to other jack-o-lantern videos, we need to make sure they continuously play. Select each media node for the Yuri eyes, and then in the inspector, Make sure the loop checkbox is checked. Now we are all set up for this background to be applied to other videos if desired. 
back on the edit page, add any additional jack-o'-lantern jamboree videos to the timeline. Extend the adjustment clip to cover each video. Since the timeline has now been extended, we do have one final step. Reopen the adjustment clip in Fusion. Select each media node that is part of the background. In the inspector, extend the global in and out control all the way to the end. This ensures that the background will continue to play on a loop all the way through your composition. Let's see how this came out. Pretty good, right? Of course, there are other ways we can layer video effects within Resolve, and we will explore those in future tutorials. In the meantime, I wish you a lot of success on your project, and be sure to subscribe to this channel for future Resolve tutorials.